So we've been interested at Mayo uh, for a very long time, not only in the joint disease of rheumatoid arthritis, but also in the way that rheumatoid arthritis affects the body generally and other organs of the body. So we've learned over the past decade or so that people who have rheumatoid arthritis have a higher risk of cardiovascular disease. They're more likely to have heart problems. They're more likely to have what we call peripheral vascular disease, meaning obstruction of arteries going into the legs and the arms. And they seem to be at higher risk also for strokes. So in pursuing these interests that we have in the complications of the disease, we try to understand what of those complications is actually related to the disease process. For example, with cardiovascular disease, does inflammation cause not only the joint disease, but also the heart disease in patients with rheumatoid arthritis? Or is it something about the treatments that we're using that might accelerate heart disease in patients with rheumatoid arthritis? Similarly, when we think about other risks like cancer, we know that certain forms of cancer are more likely to occur in patients with rheumatoid arthritis, but it is a little unclear whether that risk is related to the rheumatoid arthritis and to the immune disturbances that patients with rheumatoid arthritis have, or is it related to the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, or maybe a little bit of both. So this year, we tried to explore some of these questions a bit more, and what we discovered was that in rheumatoid arthritis, patients who have cardiovascular disease appear to be patients who are more likely to have a positive rheumatoid factor, which is a marker of severe disease. And interestingly, not only is it a marker of severe disease, patients who have positive rheumatoid factor have an immune system that seems to age faster than people who don't have a positive rheumatoid factor, and certainly ages faster than people in the normal population. And it looks like the cardiovascular disease risk in patients with rheumatoid arthritis is accelerated also in these patients who have a positive rheumatoid factor. So this is a new insight into the disease complication of cardiovascular disease, and it maybe gives us a little bit better understanding also about the disease process of rheumatoid arthritis in as much as patients who have rheumatoid arthritis have a quite different immune system function than patients who don't have rheumatoid arthritis and people who have markers of severe disease, the positive rheumatoid factor, for example, appear to have even more heart disease and accelerated heart disease compared to people who don't have that uh, factor.